you keep an eye on things from here, though. <laughs> Makes me feel safe. Come on, Colvin. Let's get your little tea book. Oh. I better get back to bed for the riffraff to come home. I saw an elephant in my pajamas. How he got in my pajamas, I don't know. Come <laughs> on, get all shot to shit. Dad's taking his time. Yeah, <coughs> he can't still be in the coup, can he? Oh, I've been out looking for your paper, lad. Will you go and see if William's all right for me? Everard at your service, oh, ma'am. Thank you, lad. Oh, he's a lovely boy. I don't like leaving William on his own once he's had a bit to drink, see? Never know what he's going to do next. Especially after that incident with the vacuum cleaner. How he got <coughs> him in the taxi at the hospital, I'll never know. What incident, son? No, oh, no, that was a long time ago now. Oh, I don't mind telling the girls. Ma'am, now I'm sure you'll want to know what had gone on tonight. Oh, it was wonderful, Granny darling. I entertained the whole evening. It was like road a carriage in concert. <laughs> They had karaoke in the King Al. Between Rhoda and Elvis, nobody else got a look in. Oh, that Elvis. Oh, I get goose pimples every time he sings. I'm gone in a trap. <laughs> I can't walk out. <laughs> Bloody time trap, you ask me. Unless I fell asleep Friday... Mm. August the 15th, 1977, and the rest of my life has been one big bloody nightmare. I think you'll find Elvis is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not Elvis, Elvis, man. Elvis, you know. Elvis, the impersonator from Kaila, <laughs> man. Everyone knows him as Elvis, man. <laughs> anyway, we went at the old house for a meal. And then we went down to Nice Egg and we met Everard and William in the King House. Oh. Did you enjoy, Jenny? Um, mm. <coughs> Did you meet a nice man? Um, mm. Thought so. <laughs> Did the vicar go? Oh, yes. He came up to the old house for a meal, said he'd rather have food than drink. But he left early, he went down to Bridgend, said he was meeting Donald, um, in a lay-by on the A48 to go dog walking or something. But there's a strange place to go walk in your dock. I know that, and they haven't even got a dog at me. <laughs> Perhaps they meant walking Donald's cat. Mm. Mm. We were only saying earlier how nice it is, Donald. 
honest, become friendly with the vicar. He used to be awful lonely. Oh, oh. oh. oh hey, you never guessed who was in the king house. Oh, tell me. Come on, man, have a guess. Well, I don't know. Buddy Milkman. No. Santa Claus. Mrs. Owen. Mm. Well. What's she girl? And William only thought that she was drug dealing again, didn't he? <laughs> Never. He went and told the landlord. Oh. The landlord didn't believe him, of course. Old him, he was being ridiculous. Oh. But that's not all. To top it all, right, they were standing by the bar and then they ended up fighting. Who was going to get her first? Oh. Oh. The landlord threw him out then. Oh. Threw him out for beating up an old lady or trying to, anyway. Oh. Banned us all, man. We all had to come out doing it, didn't we? Terrible, man. We should have oh. been there. Oh, really? Daddy went for some Indian cuisine later oh. on. Vindaloo. Mm. God help me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I can picture it now. The two of they offering three inches above the bed. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what I suffer from most. The cold I dead or the smell of any embody that sat oh. in the <laughs> Can we change the subject? They're beginning to feel ill and I haven't even had a curry. Oh, no way, new lad. I got a migraine starting and my back's killing me. Oh. Your back? You should have mine and you know what pain is. <laughs> Jenny, do us a favour, lad. Will you win the kitchen for me and get me some paracetamol for mine? Oh, oh thank you, lad. No long to go now, babe. Hey, we'll be surprised if she has it tomorrow. Hey, are you scared? Be nervous, that's all. I'd be petrified, you know, the first time, not knowing what to expect. You mean if it came out an ugly bugger like Jenny from the Adams oh, man? <laughs> no, our baby is he's gonna be busy for yeah. no, no, no. I mean the pain and if there'll be any complication. Talking of which. I remember my friend when she had her baby. Long time ago now, mind. She had terrible trouble trying to get her to. Gave up in the end. Had to have an aquarium. <laughs> a cesarean, ma'am. Now, to have one of those, you have to have a happy do -rats. An epidural. It's an injection that goes into the lower spine and numbs the lower half of the body. And then you can see them cutting you up and getting the baby out. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh. Is she OK? Complication. Paralysed from the waist down. Been in a wheelchair ever since. Oh, that's awful. No, don't listen to her, lad. That was a long time ago, ma'am. And hospitals, they've improved a lot since then. And there's plenty of pain relief. I've been thinking about having a natural birth. Well, maybe even a water birth. Don't do that, you'll drown the poor bugger. <laughs> no, you won't, ma'am. I'd like to have the baby at home, ma'am. Oh, would you, lad? Oh, I thought that when I was having you. I was long changing my mind, mind. I ended up having everything they had on offer. Injections, everything. Gas and air. I went through two tanks. No. <laughs> it took the midwife and four nurses to get it off me. She's not joking. <laughs> and all the way through it, you were father. Mopping my brow with his new donkey. Oh. <laughs> Asking me was I all right if he did. No, I'm bloody not, I said. I'm in this pain because of you. <laughs> and then when the midwife said the head was coming, he had to go and have a look and he ends up fainting. <laughs> oh, you should have been there. <laughs> After Mary, I told your grandfather if he wanted any more, he could have them in bloody self. I wasn't going through with it again. <laughs> Men. This world would be a lot less populated if they had to give birth, I can tell you. Yeah. They'd think twice about you know what. <laughs> One of my friends at college had a baby. I was going to fry the afterbirth and eat it. Now she said it was full of protein. Oh, oh. no, I couldn't. Oh, just a thought of it makes me feel sick. Oh. It's like a big purple brain. Oh. <laughs> and if it doesn't come out straight after the baby's born, He'll travel back up the body and strangle you. Oh, I <laughs> feel sick. Oh, what, what ma'am, are you all right in there? Hey, now, Jenny, Jenny, have you had the paracetamol, lad? Um, the, oh, <laughs> good God, don't 
they may all go tablet. <laughs> what? You know, the change. Menopause. Oh. Look, if you go back in the kitchen for me, please, love. In the drawer, it's a white box and it says paracetamol. Oh, thank you, love. Oh. She's not very bright, is she? <laughs> Have you a babies now, girls? Because once you get to mine and your grand's age, everything goes tits up and stops working, literally. I was wondering why you've been so moody lately. Oh, I know. Dr. Lewis, give me those, right? Told me that there'd be some side effects, you know? Well, I thought, no, bit of pain, bit of swelling. I thought he meant my legs. The last thing I expected was for my bloody boobs to blow up like two big balloons. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky. I wish mine would. I'm even contemplating implants. Lucky! Tell you now, love, my right one has ended up four inches bigger than my left. <laughs> None of my bras fit me, oh. right? It's really uncomfortable, man. Oh, no wonder you've been moody. No. Well, next time you take a tablet, swallow it down the left side of your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Until your left boob catches up with your right. <laughs> <laughs> King Al. Yeah, Mrs. Owen. <laughs> She's a tough old bird. They were arguing again in the restaurant about who was going to get served first, and she socked him one in the eye. <laughs> oh, does it hurt, Dad? Yes. Oh, here he goes again. A couple of drinks. I don't know who's on the change. Him or me. Oh, come and sit down, Dad. <sighs> come on. You're going to be a steak, love of him. I make it cooking for you tonight. Now you should have had a curry. It's not to eat, man. It's, it's to put on my eye. I don't know. I don't have a look, but I think we ate the last in the week. Oh, mm. <laughs> oh. anything to take the pain away, you know? Dad, not those. But your mum's all more tough. You could have told me before I took them. You'll wake up with breasts in the morning. <laughs> You'll have to borrow one of Mary's bras that you saw for her. Mind you, size of your moves, they're probably too small for you, too. Moves? Man moves, you dick. You'll be able to sing soprano in the church choir dance. Ah. There isn't any steak, but there's a tin of corned beef in the cupboard. How oh, the hell am I supposed to put a tin of corned beef on me, eh? Well, what do you want to put steak on your eye for? It's supposed to help. And this is supposed to be my Zen night, so shut up, man, you miserable cow. Oh, come on. Let's liven things up a bit. I'll put some music on. Oh, good idea, love. We can have a little boogie. Come on, have a dance, Go on, then. Go on, girl. Oh, What's this, that went? You don't mind. Hey, come on, William. Let's have a boogie. Oh, I better not. I, I rest in my eye. It still hurts. You're not going to dance on your bloody eye, man? Come on, Jay. You dance with me, will you, lad? Come on, man. How about you? Oh, bloody hell, no. I'm off to bed. I need to get some sleep. Talk about getting any money. There's a bloody racket going on. <laughs> Good night, Colby, lad. Good night, Bob. Good night, all. <laughs> I'd better be going a little too, Dad. You okay, love? Yeah. Thanks, Dad. For everything. Ain't never my little girl. Only that you're, you're not my little girl anymore. Soon you'll be a wife and a mother. And I'd have lost you. Don't think of it as losing a daughter, Dad. See it more like gaining a son. I think I'd rather lose a daughter than... Only joking. I'm getting used to him now. He's not a bad lad. He thinks a word of you. I'm off to bed. Good night, lad. Good night, Dad. Good night, night. Good night, everyone. Oh, good night, lad. Do you want to uh, come up with you? No, I can't. Do it, Dad. Do it, Dad. 
ourselves. Who know after we take Jenny up? Heading on up now and take Jenny home. What are you talking about now, man? We was just warming up, you spoiled sport. It's getting late, man, and I need my beauty sleep. Beauty sleep? Sorry to tell you, William, lad, but they could put you in a coma and it wouldn't make any difference. <laughs> Well, uh, I'd better go to bed. <laughs> You're not nervous of me, are you? No. <clears throat> I, I mean, uh, no, no, of course not. <laughs> then stay a while. Well, all right. But just a while. I'm feeling very tired. <clears throat> I relax anymore, I'll fall asleep. <laughs> you don't mind if I rest my eyes, do you? Uh, it's been quite a night. Breaking up two fights with your father has really taken it out on me. <laughs> Not at all. So nervous about the wedding? Uh, I guess I am a little. I can't imagine you married with a child. I love children. Do you love mine? Yeah, I love mine. She's a very lucky girl. I wish I had. Uh, your time will come. No. I don't think so, somehow. The only guy I could ever love has fallen for another woman. <laughs> I remember at my best friend's wedding, he gave me this advice. He said, if you love someone, you say it. You say it right then, out loud. Otherwise, the moment just passes you by. Everard? Mm. I love you, Everard Woodcock. There, I said it. I love you. I love you. From the moment I saw you, I suppose. I, I tried to deny it at first. I just thought it was a good way of getting my revenge back on my for stealing my first love away from me. The longer I've known you, the deeper I've fallen. So where do we go from here? How, how do you feel? Oh, you haven't heard a word I've said, have you? Oh, I know. Dropped off. I, oh, I'd better go. Shh. Give me your hand. Close your eyes. If I do that, Shh. I'll. Keep them closed. Now, step up. Hold on to the railing. Keep your eyes closed. No peeking. I'm not. Do you trust me? I think so. Well, say it then. Okay, I trust you. Standing on a proof, eh? Uh, behind the uh, sofa, uh, with my hands in the air. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, can I go now? You're supposed to say I'm flying. But I'm not. Look, this is all very nice, the uh, music and reenacting a scene from the love boat, but I'm not like that. I can't play these movie games. I'm not like you. It's not in my nature. I. Your nature is one of kindness and love. My heart up in prison behind this fortress 
for many years in the hope of protecting it from the bitter devastation it has seen in bygone days. Go on, feel it. I'd rather not. Uh... Feel it. Each isolated, lonesome beat yearns for the nature of kindness and love. Your nature. You hold the key to the lock of my heart, solitary confinement. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't think I should be sticking my key in your lock. Would you like some nuts? Ooh, thought you'd never ask. No! I meant peanuts. All right. Salted or plain. Both. They're right there. I've been watching you, you know. I've noticed the intensity in your glance. Your eyes scrutinizing my every move. And dressing me. Wanting to reach out and touch. You want me. Don't you? No, no, don't. Why? You gay or what? Whatever gave you that idea? I mean, no, no, of course not. <laughs> your sister is having my baby, isn't she? But is it really yours? Well, uh, I think so. Look, I'm not gay. So am I that unattractive that you can't even bring yourself to kiss me? No, you're not unattractive. Please don't be upset. You're beautiful. You're really beautiful. Oh, but I love you. You complete me. But you don't know me. <coughs> oh, Victoria, that should never have happened. Oh, look, if you love me, we could leave tonight. Run away together. Get a train to London. I don't love you. Oh, but you kissed me, didn't you? No, no, you kissed me. You have to understand, I love Maya. And tonight, you made me realize that more than ever. But I don't understand. It's just, when I kiss Maya, I get this sensation. Like I'm floating on air, and I don't ever want to come back down. With you, I felt nothing. I'm sorry, Vicky. So you've been leading me on for nothing? I have not led you on. In fact, I've been trying my hardest to avoid you. This. I didn't want this to happen. Look, I'm going to marry Maya. I think she ought to know what sort of two-timing rat she's going to marry. But I'm not. I never have and never would. You've ruined our marriage before it's even begun. That's plain evil. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Victoria, please, I, I'm begging you. If I can't have you, then no one can. Oh, look, I love you, Everard. Then let me go. Oh. Oh, look, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Well, here's another nice mess you've got me into. If there's any way I could change this, believe me, I would. Oh, just go. I want to be alone. But, uh, uh, please, I want to be alone. Well, all right. Well, good night. Oh, that this true, true flesh would melt and soil with sorrow that stamps this joy to you. Oh. <laughs> You're still up, lad. Fancy a coffee? Do you want one? No, thanks. Do you want? Yes. You all right? Oh, oh I don't know. Grant. Oh, come on, darling. Oh. I said, let it out. Oh, what's the matter, Phil? In all the gin joints, in all the towns, in all the world, he walks in a mine. Everard? Oh, I love him, Grant. I really love him. Oh, well, he is rather fat. Oh, Grant! Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is not what I planned for my life. I'm supposed to be concentrating on my career, not throwing it away on some man I hardly know. I just thought he was a silly crush at first and a nice way of getting back on Maya. I thought you girls were getting on well recently. Keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. Oh, ever since we were children, all she had to do was snap her fingers and people would come running. Everyone's favorite. Mum, Dad, you, not even my bloody boyfriend. 
I tried so hard to get close to her, but she was too busy with everybody else to even notice. I've lived my whole life wanting to be noticed, hoping that people would see me. Except I don't know who me is anymore. I've been so many different people trying to impress everyone. I've forgotten who I am. Even after all I've achieved, my degree, the award, been in the local papers, all I hear is mine, mine, mine. I became so bitter, so resentful, now it's unbearable. Oh, Mum kept going on about her wedding earlier. Well, I suppose it was her heaven. <clears throat> Does Maya look nice in her wedding dress? <laughs> all I could think was she would look even nicer than something made of pine. Victoria. I never knew they made pine wedding dresses. <laughs> They'll make anything out of wood these days. No, Nan. A bloody coffin. Oh, oh see how bitter I've become. Oh, I hate this. I hate me. Whoever I am, I can't keep loving Everard. I can't keep hating Maya. Well, try and get on with her, love. She's the only sister you've got. You might need her one day. But if she marries Everard, I'll die. I'll really die. Oh, come here. <laughs> Oh. Hey, look. Now I know it feels like a heart's breaking. But believe me, the right man is out there somewhere. Where and when you'll meet him, I don't know. But what I do know is he's looking for his special lady. And that's you. And when you do meet, these tears, Everard, all this, they'll be forgotten. Hey, it sounds quite exciting when you put it like that. Oh, I wonder who it is. My mamma always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You've got me at it now. Oh, thanks, Gran. Oh, oh. Nah. oh no. Oh. Hey, I thought you said you was gonna bed. Oh, I fancied a coffee. Oh, I know. We'll have another drink, is it, Victoria? Oh, no, thanks, Mum. I'm off to bed. Oh. Good night, everybody. Good night, night, love. Night, Good night, love. Oh, man, these youngsters, they got no stamina. Oh, have a look what's on the telly, love. Oh, well, I've opened the paper, yeah. There'll be nothing on it this time of night. Aren't you two going to bet? Do you know I don't feel tired? I know. I finished sewing the sequins on the new dress I bought for the reception. It's your daughter's wedding reception, not the grand final of come dancing. I know, but I want to look nice. Oh, nothing on telly anyway. Oh, wait a minute, there's a horror film just started. I don't like horror films. But I do. What is it? Demon Wind. Huh, you don't need a film for that. Ain't you going to get your coffee, old girl? Don't you call me old girl. Hey, and what do I want a coffee for this time of night? You'll keep me awake, you stupid man. Oh, my God, you know, some people, they've got no sense. Did you find anything on the telly? Well, uh, I'm off to bed. Are you, Mum, all the night? Oh, it's been a lovely night, Will. Oh, not watching telly, then? No, I read this now. Suit for the dry cleaners after. Aye, oh, no thanks to your mother giving it to that church jumble sale. You had it back, though, didn't you? I had to pay the lady behind the stall nearly ten pounds to get it back. She saw you come in. Right, let's try this on. <laughs> There's a sight we don't see very often. Now, don't you go getting any ideas now. Oh, and red. Ooh. Red, are you in red on our first date? Oh. Ooh, well, he brought out the animal in me then, too. Right, I better dress quick then before you do something you regret. Right, what do you think? What? The dress, what do you think? Ah, it looks alright. Oh, no. No, it's not straight on the side, look. Looks alright to me, anyway. No, it's not. I'm going to have to redo it. Hey, there's a photo here of Mrs. Owen in the paper. Do me a favour, love. Wait a minute. Will you uh, take your clothes off? What? Take your clothes off. Hey, hey, I thought this day would never come. <laughs> <laughs> Will you try this on for me? Ooh, kinky. No, it's to help me put the sequins straight on the bottom. Well, if someone comes down, I can 
don't look all right yet. They'll all be sleeping by now, please. Oh, oh please, William. Oh, all right, Jen. Don't be a minute, oh, thank well, you. Hurry up, Ben. Oh, I'll die if someone comes down and sees me like this. Oh, you're marvellous, Anne. <laughs> right. I want them to stand on this now, right? And then I can do the sequence straight on the side. Come on. There we are. Hey, William, I've got a lot beautiful in this dress. All of us are beautiful in you. <laughs> are we finished yet? Don't rush me now, or it's going to look, look right. Come here, man. Oh, you are. Look, have a drink. There we are. Stop laughing, then, is it? <laughs> Good. Can't help it. <laughs> look bloody beautiful. I look like a bloody clown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, you just like a needle in me then! I'm sorry! You're trying to sew it on me permanently, or what? I'm sorry, man! Shh! Oh. You wake me with you! You nearly cut my bloody leg off! Shut up, man! <laughs> so we a needle! You do it, you know! Shut up! Stop being a baby! Turn oh. round! Oh. Hang on! Oh. Right, right, right! Just hang on! Right, it's done! Oh, can I take it off now? No, no, hang on a minute, stay there! Now. Oh, come on, man. I want to see what it looks like. Please. I feel like a right dick guy. <laughs> you look like one. <laughs> hey. Hello. I got quite like this number, you know. You? <laughs> well, come on, man. Give us a turn. Uh, too sexy oh. for my dress. Too sexy it hurts. Uh, too sexy for my dress. Too sexy it hurts. Uh, too sexy for the dress. Too sexy. By now? Well, obviously. What do you want, ma'am? Well, I just come back to what all this fuss is about. It's not what you're thinking. William was helping me so that I could sew the sequin straight on the dress, that's all. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll um, leave you and Princess Twinkle talk to you then. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm going to get my call win. I don't think he ought to be witnessing this. <laughs> He's always been a bit old-fashioned when it comes to this sort of thing, see? <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know, you're cute when you laugh, man. Cute, my ass. What are you up to? No, don't answer that. Who oh, wants sexy and oh. red petty? No one's sexy in our age. Oh, he's only animal in here. Yes, a bloody rabbit. <laughs> no. Great big horny bull. Oh, now get off now. You're kidding me. <laughs> you know you want me admit it. I don't. I want my bed. Who all the better? To sleep. Now get that dress oh. off now before you ruin it. Come and take it off me. Oh, you punch me. That's your point. Now, will you? Be? No, will you? Will you? No. No. Oh. And how long is that going to take? I need my bed tonight to sleep. Oh, right, do you ask for it? No, oh no, 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 no. no. William, no, no. <laughs> William, no. Hey, I come in, ready or not? No, no, William, no. <laughs> William, are you all right? Ooh. My dress. Uh, uh, forget about your dress. My back is gone. Don't you stand it? Give me out of here. Oh. Uh, uh, yes, ready. Right. Uh, ah, no, no, no. Put me down. Put me down. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. This dress 
Ah, non Non, mon visage, les Oh, non Non, quoi, j'ai trouvé Ah, qu'est-ce qu'il y a, Night Sky I know, you can't know him, I dress up, No, don't call me Amblet! Hey, you got bloody bonkers dressed up like this? And they won't be far wrong! Just get my painkillers and hot water bottle, go on. It's not gonna work, is it, lad? Oh, go on, just get Amblet. All right, then. But let me tell you now, it's no better than an hour. Eh? I am taking you to hospital, right to this thing. Oh, you bloody love that one now. Especially after the last incident with that vacuum cleaner. Oh, and your mother, oh. Is everything all right, uh, Mary? Yeah. I, I mean, yes. I thought I heard uh, William down here. Is everything okay? No, no, it's, it's all in here. Uh, I'm just looking for a needle. Oh, uh, do you want a hand? No, no, you stay right where you are. Promises I can't keep. <laughs> the hormone tablets they kicked in. <laughs> oh, bloody funny that is, isn't it? Oh, get his hand up. Come on, Emma, get his hand up, man. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh, oh, give me a tablet. Oh, oh. 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 If I hear that one more time, I... Oh, oh, oh I feel hot, I... Oh. That's because I got the hot water bottle on your back. Oh. No. It's... I feel in faint, man. I, I got a temperature. Uh, tell you, Dad, oh. in the end, Viv. Oh. Oh. I hope you're not thinking of wearing this to my wedding. Oh, you be silly man. It's your mother, isn't it? What? You've ruined it now. Look at it. Oh, Robin, some poor son of the money I met. Will you stop it? You really got an in for her, have now? Ain't she been in court? Ah, you are not she told you. Apparently, she's been running some phony business scam. Gone bankrupt and haven't told anyone about it. She owes thousands. Left loads of people out of pocket. And oh, there we are, look. Oh. She got the right name as well. Owen, Owen, money. <laughs> oh. oh, shush, man. A dab. I bet she was embarrassed, afraid to tell anyone. Mum? What? What was that wedding event company you've been doing it called? Um, organised wedding event niceries management wise. Do you know what that stands for? Organised wedding event. O W E. Oh. Oh no. If I get my hands on her first, I'll strangle the bloody cow. Are we still talking about the poor old dab? Poor dab? I, I dab her in the face with my fist. What's going oh. on? Oh, that bloody old cow, Mrs. Owen. She stole all our money and ruined our mice wedding. What? I can't believe it. Hey, have we never had not dinner? My oh. wedding. Oh, I'm sorry, oh. lad. I told you it oh. night. Oh. I told you. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. Gee, I really love you and we're gonna get married. Going to the chapel of love. 
he's wearing one of his old ones. <laughs> I guess I am a little. Uh, tell me, uh, have you heard anything from Victoria? <sighs> She's been gone four days now. Disappeared as soon as she found out we were definitely going ahead with a wedding. Listen, um, Mary was wondering, would you mind going to the shop and finding something that resembles a wedding cake? With all the commotion, we forgot to order one. Is the vicar here yet? No one. Uh, How's my affair? Oh, contractions at every ten minutes, man. Esme's playing hell about. She wants me to go to the hospital. My's having none of it. How's the dress looking? Oh, thank God for Oxfam, man. Eh? <laughs> Mary had to do a couple of alterations. It was the last one they had there, eh? Right? <sighs> Look, I wish I could have uh, helped, you know. To oh, you. you've done you a bit of the way. You paid for you a bit of the way, did Oh, you, Doreen? You never think her and Esme are sisters, I would do. Is the vicar here yet? No. Oh, should we have the baby in the church at this rate? Oh, she go away being as low as a slag bum. Oh, I'm never going to live this down. I'll be the laughing folk of my stead. Just think of my man, it's what she wants. I know. I'd be sorry for her up there, mind with my mother going on at her. Oh, look, perhaps I should go up to no, her. No, you can't. It's a, a bad luck to see the bride before. It's a bit late for that now, isn't it? <laughs> go on, go on up. Don't worry, man, everything will be all right. All those people we invited to the church expecting the most talked about wedding of the century. That's what they'll get, Yes, man. for all the wrong reasons. <sighs> I will book the taxi. Yes, they're on their way. Right. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Her waters have just broken. Good job it was only a trickle or it could have ruined the dress. She can't bend now, so I've asked Everard to help her get her knickers off. What? That's what's got to be that trouble in the first place? Myra! Myra, you all right, love? Yes, ma'am! She's taking you away, you think I get you! All right, love, you won't be long. I don't know why you're letting her go through with it. It's bloody farcical. Ma'am, I agree. But she wants the baby born in wedlock, a proper family, you know. Well, you better hurry up then, because she's not going to last much longer. <gasps> William, will you phone the vicar and ask him where he is? Oh, ah, yes, sis. Do you want a cup of tea, lads? What? <laughs> cup of tea. Oh, no, thank you. I've just been. <laughs> I said tea, not tea. I thought I was deaf. How about a nice Garibaldi? Who's bought Gary? I don't know no Gary. Oh, I give up. Hey, who's died then? No one. It's Myers' wedding. Leanne Morris passed away this week, only 73, sis. I overheard Megan Evans telling one of the neighbours she couldn't wait to spread the news, the old cow. She said she was looking forward to going to the funeral. Well, she did. People like that, they've got no respect. They don't deserve to go to any funeral, and I told her that too. She said she wouldn't come to mine, even if I paid her. I said, hey, lads, you're not invited. She attended Colwyn's cremation night. Sure, she only went to see me cry, but I showed the bugger I laughed all the way through it. <laughs> Doreen? Doreen? You okay, lads? Oh, she'd been like that since she got here, ma'am. Sitting there, smiling. She's been acting very strange lately. It's ever since we put her in a nursing home. Hey, perhaps she should come live with us. Yeah, make us easy, eh? Oh, thank God for that. Oh, what time is it? Oh, you've gone and got a cake of your love. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God, they can't have the photo taken. Can they this, man? Are you sure that's all they had? Come in, Andy, to when the baby's gone. Oh. The us, yeah? What? Oh, thank God. Mom, when the taxis come now, it's me, you, and Doreen in one. 
come on, help me, help me, help me. Really? You come in, yeah, yeah. In the other one. And you can take my little vicar's car, the vicar. You can take my little vicar's car, all right? And please now, ma'am, everybody today behave themselves. Oh, someone's feeling stressed out. I'm not feeling stressed out. You're kind of fools, me. Oh, I just want everything to be okay, that's all. Can I go home now? I think we'd better go soon. I don't think Myra will hang on much longer. No, Doreen. Just read for the taxis, though, it's on. Oh. Oh, John, you look beautiful, love. You look lovely. Beautiful, love. She looks bloody awful. Shut up! Are you all right, Glenn? Yeah, don't worry, I'm fine. Just get me to that church. I will. Oh! 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 Do you want to sit down, love? I just want to get married. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. The president of the Women's Guild had a lot to get off her chest, uh, so to speak. Uh, how are you? Oh. I'm not very well at all, Father. <laughs> I'm having these terrible hot flushes. My. I'm okay, thank you, Father. Do you know, I've never seen the church look so full. Oh, they've all come to gloat, I bet. I just left Donald there, saying Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. <laughs> I'm not sure he'd want William. Oh. I'll say this about William's auntie Iris, my best thing she ever did was give birth to her son Donald. Oh, such a talented boy. He's like Liberace on that organ. <laughs> oh, oh, do you remember Liberace? A wonderful penis. <laughs> Mom! Pianist! Pianist! Oh, I'm sorry. Father, she meant pianist. Bloody hell, Mary, she knows what I mean, man. That's all right, Mrs. Longbottom. I'm sure it was just a slip of the tongue. Taxis here! Oh, now, right. Fire, I'm sure you don't want to prolong this any further. Your carriage awaits. Don't you mean car? No. He means carriage. Road carriage. <gasps> Victoria! Mile? Oh. It seems I'm going to faint. But don't expect me to catch you. Victoria, where have you been? We've been worried sick about you. We're all going to the church. Are you coming? I think there's something we need to discuss first. You probably haven't realised, but in the last few weeks, myself and Everard have become really close. Victoria, no, no. No, man. This is between Everard, Maya and myself. Anyhow, how can Everard possibly get married oh. without the best? <laughs> oh, I'd be honoured, Everard, if you would have me as your best man. Oh, yes. And my, can you ever forgive me? Forgive you? You're my sister. I love you. Of oh, course oh. I forgive you. Oh. Oh. And I promise, no more quotes from films or other TV popular series. It's time I became the person who I really am. Oh. Oh, I'm so proud of you, girl. Oh, bloody ridiculous, it won't last. Oh, don't be so bloody pessimistic, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry, Father. Well, at least things can't get any worse. No, no, no. What the hell was that? It's a football. Bloody kids, I bet. Well, yes, and Mrs. Owen. She's running a muck in the garden. Oh, my God, I do. Believe that. <laughs> Sorry, old habits die hard. Oh, you bloody maniac! Oh. How do you leave us alone? You ruined my wedding, you beaming twine, you! Yes, that's right, we see you in court! Oh. Are you all right, lad? We need to be going! Oh, come on! Oh, yes, I'm fucking up! And hey, hey, stay away from that car! Oh, Maybe we shouldn't aggravate the situation. You want your nonsense, Everard, in there? You can sort you out! Mr. Longbottom. Everard can't go out, then that she's ruined himself! You don't want to be bloody hung! You go! I'm not going to let you go to be suicide and go out there! 
Well, somebody's got to it. Do you want me to have another shine of the matches, one? Perhaps if we, we ignore her, she'll just go away. Somebody better get out there now before she go into the guest car. Mum, we really need to be going. Oh, best you call an ambulance. What if we send Doreen out there as a distraction when we all sneak away? Yes, let's send Doreen. Don't be bloody stupid. She's not going. Going where? Go where, lad? Where? Oh, shut up. Oh, if I'd known it. I'd have worn a dress and shaved my legs. Um, me? A volunteer, Brit! No. no, she can't go, man. Are you sure, Oh, Jamie? of course she's sure. Now run as fast as you can and make sure she follows you. Get ready to leg it to the car. Oh, no, sure she understood you, Dad. What? Oh, not to her. Run away from her. Oh, my oh. God. If I approach her calmly and with reason, she'll behave quite rationally. Excellent! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. You're right behind you, Vicar! Yeah. Oh, do you think he'd be all right? Of course he will, he's a vicar! He better not be! He's marrying me! Why, you little bit of miss you! Oh, oh, oh. 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 
your bottom. His bottom's up, ma'am. Or even long bottom's up. Right. I'm off. Keys. And if you're not out in two minutes, I'm driving myself. I'll be there now, love. Just a sip now, you're driving. Oh, all right, then. Come on, we better be going. Right, we're ready. <laughs> Where are you going with that? To the church, you stupid man. Where do you think? You can't take that! Oh, yes, I can. He wouldn't have missed this for the world. Mammy's wearing a dicky bow. I know. I dressed him up for the occasion. <laughs> I remember your father looked so smart in your wedding, all dressed up with a bow tie. And he promised me he'd do the same again for his granddaughter's wedding. Well, this is him keeping his promise. Come on, let's go. But don't ask. Colwyn, I hope you didn't mind me sending the family away. Just like, there's something I need to do for you before we say our final goodbye. And of course, I, I wanted it to be just the two of us like when we used to come down in the summer. Oh, I remember. You used to get terrible sunburn then. You'd be flaking and peeling all over. You'd be burned to a crisp. Oh, look at those kids out there paddling in the sea. It's a wonder they're not freezing. Children, they never feel the cold like we do. Oh, hey, what do you think of the baby? Now, I know he's not a girl, but isn't he just adorable? Oh, they've named him after William's father, Ivor. I've a wooden cock. <laughs> I've a bloody wooden cock. What were they thinking? <laughs> Everard's convinced the baby's his. Says he's got a smile. I said, are you sure what? He's but my Oh, she is adamant. She says the baby's a spitting image of Everard. Now, Colwyn, I'm no doctor, but that baby is the same bloody colour as you are in. <laughs> Spitting image of Barack Obama, more like. <laughs> oh, it's so nice out here, isn't it? Oh, you promised we'd live by the sea. And what you do? You end up leaving me in a bloody council house with William Longbottom. Oh, I shouldn't complain. Mary's been marvellous, but. The whole family has really. <laughs> anyway, I should have known from the very beginning how it was going to turn out for you and me. I remember when you asked me out on our first date. Oh, promised me the works you did. Said you'd properly wine and dine me, make me feel real special. What did I get? A B-movie in a rundown cinema and a bag of chips as we waited for the bus home. Oh, hey, I worry about when we got married and moved into our first house. Promised me all new carpets, all new furniture. They were all second hand. It was like bloody step to one son in my house. The rag and bone man couldn't pass without you trying to catch something off him. It was bloody embarrassing. The neighbours knew me as Andy down as me. Oh. But what was your excuse? We're saving up to go on holidays. Ah, da 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 Oh, look. I wonder where that ship's going. Somewhere nice, I suppose. Mystical and exotic. Abroad. 
you promised me we'd go abroad. Well, if we can call, call the island just off the coast of Tembe abroad. <laughs> and I know monks used to live there, but that hardly made it mystical or exotic. Oh, four years we saved up for that holiday. Four bloody years, and we were only there for one day. We were escorted off the island for illegally pitching our two-man tent outside the tourist office. Well, you said it made sense. We could sort out our postcards at the same time. Aye, great idea, that. Oh. I know. I made a promise that never really came to anything, mind, did I? I promised I'd, um, you know, oblige you in the you-know-what department. Oh. Well... It was such an ungodly thing to ask me, a dirty bugger. <laughs> oh, but I knew you loved me all the same. You would have promised me the world if you could have. Well, actually, you did. Oh, but it didn't matter. As long as I had you, and the promise you'd always be here for me, keeping me safe and happy. That was the only promise that really mattered. Nothing else. Just you. And me. And now you've gone. Call me George. How am I supposed to cope without you? You've left me feeling so alone. I know I could be a nag on times and maybe I didn't always show my true feelings, but oh, to God, I wish you were up there somewhere now watching over me. Because then you know just how much I really do love you. Oh, I miss you, you old fool. Why you like these, I'll never know. They're bloody horrible. <laughs> well, I suppose this is it. Goodbye, my love. Oh, it's not forever, mind. I'll come and visit as often as I can. And when it's my turn to you, you know, I'll ask our Mary to bring me to this very spot. And I'll be just rest in peace to get that. Uh, hey, and unlike you, you know I keep my promises. Talking of which, Remember that blow job I promised you. <laughs> <laughs> Family. 